Fox being with local human man, I'm here Manolo Zashini, who re- makes his UFC debut next weekend, September 2nd at UFC Paris. Manolo, how are you? Hey, what's up, guys? How are you? Thank you for the interview, and I'm here. Yeah, I'm awesome. very happy. Thank you. Awesome. You're uh, you're you're about one week out. How are you feeling? I'm feeling strong, man. I'm pretty. I'm feeling very strong. I'm happy because my body is amazing. It's incredible, but I feel strong. I'm ready. Awesome. Awesome. Um, by the time you step in, step back into the cage, it's gonna be almost a year, uh, like a, a, a year layoff. Um, first of all. Even before we get to that, where were you when you got the UFC call that that you that that, that you're going to be in the UFC? Hey man, fortunately, yeah, it's one year that I, almost one year that I don't fight, but my training camp became this January. Yeah, so I mean, I was in America to, from this January to uh, to the first day of July. And when I come back here in Italy, I never stopped to training. And so when my manager called me and say, Manolo, is your time UFC one one that you fight with for for them? Fuck yeah, I'm ready. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, I guess just also I, I wanted to know like, how does it feel to finally be in the UFC? Like, you know, you've been grinding so long, and now you're in the UFC. Come on, man. It's my dream. It was my dream, the dream of my life. I stopped the school when I was 17 for, for this dream. And now I'm 27, 10 years after and say, fuck, I'm ready. It's my time. This is my dream. I live in my dream. I'm very happy. I'm exciting. I think exciting is the good, the correct word. Mm. Um, also, you're another Italian fighter in the UFC. There isn't much of them, you know? So how does that feel to be fighting for your country? It's amazing. It's amazing. Because in, in now in UFC, uh, there, there are only me and another guy, uh, Marvin Vittori. And for me, represent my, my country, Italy, is, is amazing. It's an honor for me. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Well, let's get right to your fight. Um, you're fighting Morgan, who uh man, he's been around a long a long time. Just like just like you, he's been trying to get to the UFC for a long time. So it feels like a perfect matchup between two prospects that have that have been so close to the UFC that are finally here, right? So what what do you think of the matchup? I I, I said only one thing. Probably. Fight of the night. <laughs> Fight of the night, baby. I mean, you're not wrong. Uh, on paper, it, it's a very, very exciting fight, and you guys could easily get fifty thousand dollars for for a fight of the night. It, it, is that what you're aiming for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Yeah, sorry, man. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course, I try because. But you ask me what do you think to the to my my opponent at this fight, and I say only one thing. I think he's a amazing fight, and probably it's it's supposed to be the the fight of the night because it's amazing fight, no? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Did you know who Morgan was before he was offered to you? Man, I'm I'm honest. I, I see him the first time a long time, probably 2018, because we debuted together in Cage Warriors. Uh, and we lost together in the same night. I say him there only one time, but I, I don't know. I never, I never see him before after the fight. Oh, or... um. Well, all right. Well, then let's just get right to it, man. Um, at the end of the day, September second in Paris. How do you how how do you win? September second in Paris in his house. It's okay. It's okay. I want to win. I want to win with for sure. Um, and then finally, finally, uh, you know, your first UFC fight is going to be in front of a sold out crowd in Paris. You're you're going in into enemy territory. 
How excited are you? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter because the fight is fight. Yeah, it, it's normal. Uh, when I when I will enter in the cage, probably all the people say boo boo, and when he and will enter, yeah. But for me, it's more better because when I will win this fight, all the arena. It's more exciting, no? What do you think? <laughs> do you think by the end of the night, the Paris fans will be cheering you because of how you fight? Man, I don't know. I, I hope not because, you know, the people are stupid sometimes. No, but I don't understand. No, it's true because don't understand that we are two people in the cage and both the people are there for, for work. Okay, and sometimes the people don't understand, and but doesn't matter. It's okay. Probably, yeah. When I got inside the cage or before the cage, the people tried to say to me something, but it's not my problem. Awesome, Mano. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Um, if you want to plug your social media, any sponsors you might have, and if you want to thank anybody, the floor is yours. Okay, I want to say thank you for all my sponsor that help him, help me in this year. Uh, thank you for my gym, Jackson Wink MMA in America, Fighters Angels here in, in, um, in Italy, to all my family, all my friends that always, always believe in me in these 10 long years. Thank you guys for the interview. And guys, September 2nd is very soon. Watch my fight and support me. I'm ready. Make sure to subscribe to the Low Kick MMA YouTube channel for all the latest news, event previews, and interviews with some of the biggest stars in MMA.